Thanks so much for coming back. I know it's been a while, so forgive me. I think I was in a bit of a bit of a stench of overthinking, probably what what to say, um, and making sure that these videos are, are useful and helpful, um, and probably had a bit of a, a period of low mood. I managed to get myself out of it by just remembering to be thankful, thankful that um, I'm healthy, thankful that uh, I'm able to wake up and see the beautiful sunshine, thankful that um, I have people that love me and care for me. And I think that really lifted me out. So it, it didn't take long to to get into the right gear um, to get out of the low mood. So that's probably why I've um, been missing the last couple of weeks, um, mainly on the personal one, because Don't Be A Doorstop has been going still, because it helps because you've got somebody else to spur you on. I watched... Um, uh, a podcast called, um, I think it's called the leadership podcast or something like that leadership podcast with Greg Rochelle. Um, and he had this table where he would have his hands on the table and it was talking about gesturing and how you can, uh, maximize the impact of gesturing, um, by being more intentional with 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, um, being like, Hey, it's really good to be here. It's really, um, touching that you've invited me to come and speak let's get started you know all this stuff about gesturing so his video he has his hands out in front of him so i thought he has his hands out in front of him and he gestures so i thought it'd be funny to to do that and uh give you a little bit more than just the the normal thing as well as some product placement as well um so this week or last couple of weeks i have carried on working on um like a bit of a welsh chat gtp iteration i've called it tide which is welsh for granddad so i bought Tide.com and also Nine.com. Um, I built a, a kind of a Welsh wrapper around open APIs so you can chat to it in Welsh and ask it questions. It's it's pretty good. It's not always correct, but it's um close enough for, for most things. Um so I'm redirecting some of the traffic from my Google.com over to there and see how that works. And I, I think I'd quite like to sell it as a bit of a membership membership access to pay for the um for the tokens um that I'm using on the actual API. And then I'll be able to update it to be um, the actual chat GTP API when that gets released. So that's been good fun trialing out that stuff uh, and playing around with it. Again, I always feel that um, in regards to tech and ideas and business and stuff, some of the easiest ideas are just taking a product that already exists and just localizing it. Now, in my case, it's localizing it in a different language. Um, but in your case, it might be localizing it to, yes, a different language or to a particular area and a particular like cultural um, group of some sorts. Um, my brother-in-law lives down in um, in Yeovil with my sister. Um, and I, I was trying to kind of share that same information with him as in if he was going to start a, a SaaS business or a, a an online business, a digital business, it'd be what could you take from Somerset as like a Somerset local angle on something? And could you build Etsy for Somerset um, where you'd have um, kind of lots of, it's it's very like farm friendly. So you'd have lots of creators of jams and honeys and eggs and stuff. And could you create that um, as some sort of a um, farm or a website? Because I remember seeing uh, Etsy was created by somebody doing like Etsy for Welsh welsh stuff or, or welsh culture and that has worked out really well um so yeah sometimes it's not necessarily coming up with a new di idea but it's taking an existing idea and doing the welsh iteration of it or the localized iteration of it um so yeah this welsh ai stuff has been good fun then secondary to that uh, what i've done is not only do i want it creating answers using the chat gtp type function i also want it to read out the answers in welsh uh, so I've managed to find Bangor University have got an API where <clears throat> where it speaks Welsh, but it only speaks Welsh in a female accent right now. Um, I'd like to remove away from that because typically these assistants always typically start out with um, female voices. And I don't think that necessarily is the best um, best kind of starting point for kids because they get used to telling a female voice what to do and telling a female voice instructions. So I want a male version of it uh, as well. Um, so it's better balanced in that way. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll be releasing some new voices so I then can change them to have a Welsh male voice and a Welsh female voice as well, which is good fun. And then um, basically I've been working on my second book. Um, I'm basically 80% done. I just need to finish off some of the drawings. So um, 
I'm really excited about getting that one out because again, I'm just focused on momentum and getting the next version together. Um, so yeah, apologies that I've not been around the last couple of weeks or just not caught up with my weekly routine. Um, hopefully the fact that I've given you a more visual, interesting background will uh, make up for the fact that I haven't been here. Um, I am aware that I really want a studio because I'm just in the lounge right now. I think it'd be really nice to have a studio where I could have um, everything set up so there's not this um, 15 minute of faff time of your battery's low, you know, full, like your camera falls over, the lighting's, you know, just kitchen spotlights and so forth. So at some point, you know, through iteration, I will improve the lighting and backgrounds and so forth. But hopefully for now, this will be a, a better a better iteration, that's for sure. Um, so yeah. Keep on doing what you're doing. Um, you're doing great. You're you are putting in the time. You're putting in the effort. So pat yourself on the back because um, sometimes we need to do that. And it's okay to have down periods. It's okay to have uh, periods where you feel like you're in a bit of a, a low mood vibe. Um, focus on what you can be thankful for. That's something that can really help you come out and get out walking, get some fresh air. Um, that's definitely two things that help me, a bit of fresh air and um, some walking. So until next time, see you when I see you.